Good morning. Back in my workout for today is did a warm up and I just did a dynamic warm up. I did 30 seconds of jump rope, 30 seconds of jumping jacks, 30 seconds of alternating lunges, 30 seconds of um, skis, 30 seconds of squats, 30 seconds of butt kicks. So I just went through that three times and uh, just to get them nice and warm. And then I just stretched their back out and uh, just things like that. It was a different warm up. I got the kettlebells out of the warm up today. Um, and then what I did is we all, I put them in pairs. I partnered up everybody with, with a, a partner. And then after that, what I did is I took them all to the pull up bar. Everyone used a band and I made them do strict pull-ups. I didn't want to see any movie or anything like that. So, to demonstrate the band, what you want to do is they will have a partner, they will load them up, put their feet in the band, hands are out wide, and I want strict pull-ups. Okay, down and up, let everybody use a band, and it depends on the tension as far as which ones they're going to do. Show them how to spot each other by holding their free foot to help them up. But what you're going to do is for 12 minutes, 10 to 12 minutes, you're going to do, they're going to do pull-ups. One partner will do five, the other partner will do five. And they'll just continue to switch and alternate five, 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 and five for the 10 to 12 minutes, okay? So their goal is to get as close to 50 as they can, okay? So after that, then keep them partnered up. They are going to grab a set of dumbbells and they're gonna do bicep curls, okay? On the bicep curls, make sure that their form is correct. Teach them that the elbows are facing down do not use momentum, don't swing, keep the elbows in place, and do the bicep curls. So, what they're gonna do is they are gonna do a ladder. They are gonna do one, and then their partner does one. And then they're gonna do one, two, partner, one, two. One, two, three, partner, one, two, three. One, two, three, four, partner, one, two, three, four. And then one, two, three, four, five, partner, one, two, three, four, five. Then, after they finish that, that's one round, start again. One, all the way up to one, two, three, four, five. Okay? Um, the goal there is to get through three rounds, and that's only going to be 35 reps. Please tell them to go heavy. Okay? Show them how to spot them using their hands. Show them how to spot. Just make sure they don't help too much. But I want it to be heavy. They should only do it, be able to do a max of five with that set of dumbbells that they choose. So they are going to go, and that's going to take approximately eight minutes, eight to ten minutes, to get through three rounds of continuous lifting. And that is that is to help them to get stronger. And then you are going to put that down. And we're going back to our back. I'm going to grab a dumbbell. Um, the next thing is let them use uh, the heaviest set of dumbbells that they have and they are going to do a partner renegade row. So keeping the same format as we did in the bicep curls, the one, one, two, three ladder all the way to five, they're going to do the same thing with the renegade row. Okay? So show them how to keep their butts low and what they're going to do is they're going to do one, partner does one, one, Two, partner does two, okay? And they're gonna go all the way to five renegade rows, three, four, five. And then their partner does five, and that is when they switch sides, okay? Switch sides, and then begin again. One, one, two. The ladder again, all the way to five, okay? I would like for them to go two to three rounds per side. If they get to three rounds on each side, then they've done a total of 90 reps, okay? Try and tell them to stay in the plank while their partner is rowing. 
tell them to stay in the plank, okay, to, to work their core for, a little, for long, okay? Tell them to rest if they had to, and make sure to give that modification of the leg down in the back if it's hurting their lower back, okay? So, that's, the, that's that. And then it should approximately be, that should take about 10 minutes to get to there. And then the last five minutes, just give them four to five minutes, tell them to grab their, the, the dumbbells that they used for the hammer curl, for the bicep curls, and they're gonna hammer curl it out, okay? So get the hammer curls, palms facing in, good strict form, and tell them to get as close to 100 as you can, okay? It's, it's easier than bicep curls, so they should be able to use the same exact weight and do as many as you can. Just burn it out, drop the weights when they get tired, shake it out, pick them right back up. Work for four to five minutes, okay? After that, 40 push-ups. And the 40 push-ups we did, we did, uh, we did uh, standard push-ups and we also did tricep push-ups. Just mixed it up a little bit. And then at the end, we did sit-ups and crunches. Just a little bit of bonus round for Friday afternoon workout. We did 10 crunches, 10 sit-ups. 10 crunches, 10 sit-ups, stretched, we're out of there. Okay, good hour workout, awesome. Four exercises, it's gonna attack your back and thighs, and uh, have an awesome workout, bye.